battery battery a battery is a combination of cells the chemical battery has always been important as a DC voltage source for the operation of radio and electronic equipment. Now batteries are used more than ever for transistorized portable equipment, which can operate without being connected to AC power line. Following are the main types of cells. Primary cells This type of cell cannot be recharged. After it has delivered its rated capacity, the primary cell must be discarded. The reason is that internal chemical reaction cannot be restored. All the cells which are mainly carbon zinc are of the primary type. Secondary cells this type of cell can be recharged because the chemical reaction in it can be reversible. When it supplies current to a load resistance, the cell is discharging, as the current tends to neutralize the separated charges at the electrodes. For opposite case, Current can be reversed to reform the electrodes as chemical reaction is reversed. This action is charging the cell. The charging must be supplied by an external DC voltage source, with the cell serving just as a load resistance. The discharging and recharging is called cycling of a cell. Since a secondary cell can be recharged, it is called a storage cell. The common type is the lead acid cell generally used in automotive batteries. Sealed rechargeable cells It is the type of secondary cell that can be recharged but, it has a sealed electrolyte that cannot be refilled. These cells are capable of charge and discharge at any position. The Voltaic Cells When two different conducting materials are dissolved in an electrolyte, the chemical action of forming a new solution results in the separation of charges. This method for converting chemical energy into electrical energy is a voltaic cell. It is also called as galvanic cell, named after Luigi Galvani, 1737-1798. In the figure, the charged conductors are the electrodes or plates of cell. They serve as a terminal for connecting voltage output to an external circuit. The potential difference across the electrode forces the current to flow and light the bulb. Dry cells the cell which have moist electrolyte is called a dry cell. However, the electrolyte cannot be spilled and the cell can operate in any position. Carbon zinc dry cell This is probably the most common type of dry cell. It is also called the Leclanche cell, named after the inventor. 
Voltage output for the carbon zinc cell is 1.4 to 1.6 V with a nominal value of 1.5 V and current range is up to 150 Ma for a D-sized dry cell which has a height of 21 fourths and volume of 3.18 cubic inches. Alkaline cell it is available as a primary or secondary cell in flat, miniature, or round types of construction. The alkaline cell was developed to answer the need for high discharge rate in popular dry cell sizes. The electrochemical system consists of a powdered zinc anode and a manganese dioxide cathode in an alkaline electrolyte. The electrolyte is a potassium hydroxide, which is the main difference between alkaline and Laclange cells. Additional type of primary cells Following are the important types of primary cells. Mercury cell Silver oxide cell Zinc chloride cell Additional type of secondary cells Following are the important types of secondary cells Nickel cadmium cell Nickel iron, Edison, cell Nickel zinc cell Zinc chlorine, hydrate, cell Lithium iron sulfide cell Sodium sulfur cell Plastic cells Solar cell Subscribe to this channel for more videos.